That's, that was three days back. They sent me a mail that my payment had been sent, but I did not get any alerts on my phone. I did not see any money. I'm telling you, an offer of rice is, is such a unique type of rice. At the eggs there and everything you said. Little little stuff like this. I I just wish I had somebody. Hey guys, what is good? What is popping? Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new here. Also welcome to a weekend vlog. So we do this thing on the channel where I take you guys through my weekend. I just try to document my life, especially as a queer person living in Nigeria. So if you're new to my channel, by the way, uh, my name is Victor Emmanuel, also known as Vic Wanda. And on here, I talk about the realities of queer people living in Nigeria. I also share my life, my personal life. I share fashion too, fashion tips, fashion ideas, fashion inspiration, because I'm like a fashion geek. So. For this vlog, for this weekend vlog, I'm going to be doing a couple of things. I don't have like a clear idea of how my weekend will go, but I do know that for one, I just got my first paycheck from YouTube. So I have been doing YouTube for two years now, I believe, and it has been a struggle. This paycheck, like this one I just got, which is my first ever, isn't anything much. It's really not anything much, <laughs> but it symbolizes my hard work. It symbolizes um, the fact that what I'm doing on here actually means something, like I am worth something basically. So I feel like this is a milestone for me, right? As a creator, I know it's only going to get better from on here, but just let me be excited. Give me this one, give me this one. I am so excited. Um, I got the mail yesterday that my payment has been sent in. And because it's a wire transfer, they told me that it might take up to five days. And I was like, bitch, I have been waiting for this money all through this month because you get paid on YouTube once a month towards the end of the month. I was like, I have been waiting for this money. I am broke. I'm broke. Why are you guys telling me that it's gonna take five days? Like, why the fuck did you send me this mail if I'm not gonna get the money immediately? But I, uh, I just gave it a rest and this morning I woke up to a credit alert on my phone telling me that the money has actually gotten into my bank and I'm like ah anyways I'm going to my bank now to go cash the money in because I want to lock it up yes I want to lock that money up or oh, a part of it by the way I can't lock everything I'm poor I need part of it to you know sustain myself but I want to lock some part of it and I'm gonna be doing that so I'm taking you guys with me to the bank and by the way, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, that is an offense punishable by 100 years in prison. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, also the like button. I'll see you guys in a bit.
so guys you all know how i say you all know how i said in my question and answer video that whenever i get new money one of the first things i do is to eat something like good to just eat something that i haven't had in a bit or in a long time um i'll buy food first <laughs> The first thing I think about is I want to eat something I haven't eaten in a long time. I don't know if it's just me, but that is literally what I do. I will go and eat something that gladdens my heart and uplifts my soul. And that is what I'm here to do. I'm here to get some food and um, feel good basically, you know. So guys, I just got bye bye. I just got what I wanted. I didn't actually want to sit down there and eat. I got the food to go because I'm actually feeling kind of sick. I've been feeling this way for like two days now, but I've just been like charging through all my responsibilities and all my everything I've signed up for, all my obligations. I have a meeting today actually. Like I have. A zoom meeting and i also have an event in the next two days a virtual event by the way that um i'm on the organizing board so i really am not about to let any sickness hold me down until i'm done with all my obligations at least for this weekend yeah so So one of the things that I got from that restaurant was ofada rice produced in Nigeria and beside it that's the ofada sauce. I also got moi moi, I got turkey and I got a drink. Alright, let's dig in. Let's dig in. So I can't remember the last time that I had ofada rice. <laughs> I'm telling you, and ofada rice is, is such a unique type of rice and such a such a premium type of rice. Mm. So in Nigeria, we have like three or four different ways of making rice. So we could make it as jollof rice, we could make it as fried rice. It could come as rice and stew. Which is basically what this is, right? Rice and ofada sauce or ofada stew. And I think, okay, there is coconut rice. There is concussion rice. I guess that's all. <laughs> if there's anyone I've left out, you guys should tell me down in the comment section. So we make rice basically in those five ways. By the way, this is the food content I know most of you signed up for. You guys have been telling me in my comments that you love when I introduce you guys to Nigerian food. So here we are once again. So like I was saying, we prepare rice in those five basic types of ways. And I would say my top variety of rice in Nigeria would be jollof rice, followed by fried rice and followed by ofada rice. I love coconut rice, but one thing with coconut rice, you get tired of it. In fact, if they give you a full bowl of coconut rice, you probably might not want to finish it. I don't know about you guys, but that's how it happens to me. And oh, I forgot to mention, so ofada rice is served mostly in leaves. I think this is banana leaves. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Either banana or plantain leaves. So it's mostly not served in plates. Although like in restaurants, they will put the leaf inside the plate, inside the flat plate. But... Yeah, it's served in leaf, and the leaf kind of like gives it a certain type of scent. Not necessarily taste, because it has its own taste. Ofada rice has like a specific kind of taste. The leaf just gives it like this type of smell, you know. So I'm digging into the moi moi now. 
So mama is made from beans. And this too was also served in a leaf. It makes it all the more better. So fun fact, I can't open my drink <laughs> because of my nails. I have to use my key. I actually used to struggle with my nails to open this before. But then I saw a girl on TikTok and she gave me this tip. Or she was giving people this tip on using your key to open your drink if you have long ass nails. There we go. Hey guys, so it's a brand new day. This is Saturday, the second day of this weekend. And today I'm going to go take out my hair. I'm going to go change my hair. I'll do this same hairstyle or maybe something different. I haven't made up my mind yet, but I need to take this off. This has been here for at least two months now. I think I made this um, towards the ending of May. I made this hair. And I've worn it all through June and all through July. So I want to go change this because it's it's just so rough right now. In fact, some of these pieces have fallen out from the front. And I also need to wash my hair, right? So I'm going to wash the hair and remake it. So I'm heading to the salon right now. I've prepared everything. This is actually very early in the morning. And normally I'm not a morning person. I hate mornings. But I had to drag myself out from the bed today because I have a shit ton of things to do today. My hair is just the beginning. Trust me, guys. After making my hair, I have to come facilitate um, a meeting, a Zoom event. I'll put that on my screen here. And that should happen by 12 p.m. Or that is slotted for 12. And after that, I have to go to the market with my friend to pick out um, a pair of shoes. He wants me to help him shop for shoes. And I also have a date tonight, yes. I'll tell you guys more about that later. So it's just like a whole lot today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way. Don't forget. I'll see you guys in a bit. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. To me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give can't be replaced. So come now, it's what I'm about to do. That's why I'm not in my life with you. I won't feed you anywhere I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Hey guys, so we are done um, losing the hair and we are about to wash it now. Actually, the hair is very dirty as you can see. But that's beside the point, we're about to wash it. But my main, my main point, why I am cheesing right now is, look how long my hair is, guys. My hair is like really, really long. And it's so crazy because my hair was so fucking short the last time I made it. And look at my hair now. Ooh. It's giving aerial. Mm -hmm. It's giving aerial. Like, look at the length. But you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Love you give, you can't be replaced. So come now, something to do. That's why I'm not in my life with you. I won't feed you anywhere I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Why not? Love is no one. 
So guys, I had to take a break from making my hair because like I said earlier, I have a Zoom event that I'm supposed to facilitate by 12 p.m. The time is currently 11.50. So I had to leave the salon. I'm not done making my hair, actually. As you can see, I'm not done. But I am currently in so much pain. I don't even understand why this hair is hurting this much because my hair has grown and although it's still natural i haven't relaxed my hair i don't know like it's so painful i was literally almost crying in the salon because why do I have to keep experiencing stuff like this alone? Like why? <laughs> Literally to stuff like this. I, I just wish I had somebody. <laughs> like nobody nobody understand how much or nobody currently knows how much pain i'm in right now and probably until i post this video like but in this moment in time i wish there was somebody that just that was just here I have to deal with huge problems in my life alone and I don't even mind but little little things like this I have been doing this alone thing for close to two years now and sometimes it makes me desperate to like probably get into a relationship or look for someone I get partnered up with but I don't want to do that like I don't want to be with somebody out of desperation <laughs> but I'm tired I'm just tired.
Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. 'Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. So guys, we just wrapped up the event. So I'm going back to the salon now to go complete my hair. <sighs> I don't know why I broke down earlier, but it's fine. I'm in a much better mood now. I probably would start crying again when I go back to the salon. But it's good, it's good, it's good. Let's go finish up what we started. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm done. I'm done with the hair and ah, I feel like I have just been rescued from a dungeon. <laughs> I'm so, so, so tired and in so much pain. But um, yeah, I'm finally done. I'm going home now. I don't think I'm going to be able to rest because I have a shit ton of other things to do today. But at least this is out of the way. So my friend is here and we are going to the market now to buy him a pair of shoes. The reason why he's making me go with him is because according to him i know how to price stuff down and i would definitely get him a good deal so basically we're just preparing now to go to the market So I also mentioned earlier that I will be going on a date today and I am on that date right now. Yes, I ordered spaghetti and my date ordered Singaporean noodles. So we just had a good time basically. So the date was going well. This is just me feeling myself, feeling my oats, getting into my hair and after a couple of you know hours or minutes rather we went home yes you heard that right we hey guys so let's wrap up this vlog real quick um yeah we started out with me getting paid for the first time by youtube i got my first youtube paycheck and the tea is first of all the money wasn't much but that's okay it's it's okay that um at least I got paid and actually getting paid by YouTube is a whole lot of hassle like actually getting the money in your account especially if you're in Nigeria and I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this you know um, in the past first and foremost I remember telling you guys one time that the pin they sent to me never got here like the AdSense pin I was supposed to use to verify my address it never got here after like three trials and then I reached out to a small YouTuber like myself that had just gotten monetized as well. And he told me how to go around that. So I was able to go around that and I eventually got verified. I mean like my attempts got verified. After that one happened, I was supposed to provide my account details, obviously. And this is not just giving them your account details. Okay, so since you're in Nigeria and you know YouTube is situated, like their headquarters is in the US. I had to go to my bank and get the all the necessary information that I need for my bank to receive a wire transfer from the US. So there was this reference code, like just a lot of codes. <laughs> I had to um, get that and I did after a back and forth with my bank. I got that and then 
I was so relaxed, I forgot that the last thing we were supposed to do was provide your tax information so that, you know, they can take out tax. So, I think it was on the 20th of this month, they sent me a mail that my payment is on hold because I haven't provided the tax information and that I'll get my new payment in the next paying cycle. I literally thought that they meant I'll get my payment the next month, that is next month because, you know, they pay at the end of the month, once at the end of the month and I'm like, oh my god, I have been waiting for this money, I am fucking broke and these bitches are telling me that I have to wait one more month but like I, I went around and filled the tax form, provided everything that I needed to provide maybe they might still pay <laughs> so on the 21st, they sent me a mail that, that was three days back they sent me a mail that my payment had been sent, right? But I did not get any alerts on my phone, I did not see any money So I was like, oh my god, is this going to be another issue? And I googled how long does wire transfer take And I saw on Google that it takes approximately, no, it takes from 1 to 5 days for wire transfer to come in And I went back to the other mail and I noticed they said that If this money doesn't come, come into my account in the next 5 days, I should contact my bank I was like, oh, I'm about to wait for another 5 days <laughs> But then, like, the next day, I woke up to a credit alert from um, AdSense and my money came into my account. It was so nice to see that, like... <laughs> yeah, so that happened in this vlog. I saw that um, I went to the bank to cash in the money and everything. Um, what else happened in this vlog? Okay, I took out my hair. Yes, I have been wearing that hair for two months and the hair has seen hell the hair has gone to hell and back so I took it out and I didn't want to make anything like um, too serious right so I just asked them to twist my hair for me this is not actually my hair length though because I, I <laughs> somebody actually um, asked me on Instagram that when did my hair grow this long this is not my hair like this is um, kinky um, kinky was attached but I don't even know how I look now let me look at the mirror first Okay, actually, this is giving in Becky right now. <laughs> I'm actually still getting. I've been saying the word actually. I'm still getting used to this hair because whenever I make, whenever I do something to my hair, it takes me a while to like grow into it. So I'm still getting used to this. Um, but yeah, this is the new hair I'm gonna be carrying maybe for like two weeks because I can't actually carry this hair as long as I carry the former one. According to my stylist, she was like the the wax they put to make it sleep like to make the in-betweens like really really relaxed will wear off in a week or two so yeah i should be wearing this for that long um but you guys should tell me what do you think about my new hair tell me that in the comments do you like it do you not like it do you fuck with it do you not tell me that in the comments and let me know what you guys think uh okay what else yeah, I went on a date um, yesterday, I showed you guys the food, I showed you guys like the whole scenery So yeah, I went on a date with an old acquaintance, an old friend And we just like reconnected and you know just found our feet again <laughs> We had a little issue back then but we were working on that And um, he, he's actually here right now, he actually came back to the house with me he slept over don't get any ideas guys but yeah he's here and we've we've really had you know some heart to heart talks and just just really found our feet or trying to find our feet so i guess that is all that happened in this vlog and um thank you guys for watching to the end by the way if you did watch to the end um i'm grateful and you guys know how we do it there's a tradition on here if you did watch to the end, I'll give you guys a word to comment. Okay, you guys know I usually give either a word, a phrase, or a hashtag. So I've, I've given hashtags, I've given words. Let's go with the phrase. In the spirit of, you know, one of the biggest singers dropping very soon, just go ahead and comment, Beyonce is coming. Yeah, comment Beyonce is coming. Yes, yeah, so for all the Beyonce fans in the house, comment, even if you're not a fan, which that would, like, that would come with some questions. But... Just go ahead and comment, Beyonce is coming in the comment section 
and let me know you got to the end of this video so i can send you my love and my heartfelt appreciation thank you all for watching once again till i see you guys in my next one bye